and athletes. Uh, but coach, just uh, your thoughts on, on the win. Well, I'm awfully excited to uh, be advancing. Uh, I think this is a special time in the lives of our coaches, players uh, that chase trophies. And this was our first step uh, in the NCAAs. Uh, so our, our team was in a, our, I thought, a terrific battle tonight. Uh, you know, we knew Alaska was good. Uh, I didn't realize just how uh, how good a player Nielsen was. I mean, he is uh, as good a player as we've played against all year, and we played le uh, teams from all over the country. So he was very, very impressive. Uh, I think Alaska and and Dallas have to be very pleased that uh, you know this was their first tournament action, and they played us played us so well. Uh, you know, the game certainly could have gone e either direction. Uh, tied. You know, after two periods, I thought our, we got a really our good offensive play, a shot from the point, a redirection for this, that second goal. Uh, but I, we had all we could handle. Uh, but I don't think I've ever been in an NCAA tournament where, you know, the games aren't difficult, they aren't you know, hard to advance. So uh, again, credit to Alaska. I know a lot of people in this area don't know much about them. Like I said, I've had a chance to, uh, play at Fairbanks a number of different times and they've got a really good culture up there, diehard hockey, college hockey fans and uh, they play in a really good arena. They're going to be back on the national stage uh, the way Dallas is recruiting, the way he's coaching. I thought uh, Matty Price uh, had another really solid game. His line uh, with Matt Lombardi and uh, they just are really doing some special things on the ice as we go through uh, the season so uh, they're you know, Barry Meter is uh, really coming on strong, but I think our, right now Maddie and Matt Price and Matt Lombardi are kind of the catalyst for our team. So I'm very, very proud of their play. And it's nice to have a, a freshman up here scoring a goal like Pat did tonight. All right, thank you, Coach. Questions for the student athletes? I'll start with Jim. Uh, Pat, Jim Conley from U.S. College Hockey Online. Can you take us through your goal and, and kind of what transpired? Because that was such a transition play where they had gone one way, you guys come back, and then you drove the net. Yeah, I mean, uh, um, they came down a three on two, and um, not sure whether it was a block shot or the puck um, just missed the net, but it, you know, it squeaked around the boards, and I picked it up and um, looked up. We had a three on two, dropped it to Steve Whitney, and um, you know, Steve Whitney had a lot of poise, you know, to hold up. And uh, hit Patch Albert coming in pretty late. You know, we always work on, you know, working or uh, hitting our D coming in late, and you know, it paid off tonight. And Patch made a great look back door. I was just lucky enough to have my stick in the right place. Hey guys, Brian O'Connor, ESPN.com. Um, Pat and Matt, I want you both to answer this. Um, it seems like last four or five games you've had somebody else step up every single game. So can you talk about the depth on this team? Yeah, I think. I think it's integral. Any team that's going to make uh, a push here, college hockey is going to need everyone to step up, and everyone's going to play a different role every night. Uh, you know, sometimes your checkers are going to score, and that's something you need. You know, I think uh, the more guys we can have going, the better off we're going to be. And I think you've seen that the last couple of games, and it's, it's a tribute to our success. Yeah, um, you know, following up on that, I feel you know what makes us a really strong team is that when you know. We don't have our, our top line of, of Gibbons, Atkinson, and Whitney. You know, when they're not scoring, we're so deep that we can, um, you know, have Matt Lombardi, who's been playing well for us lately, um, come through with huge goals. We can have guys like that, um, you know, scoring goals, and that really helps us, um, you know, when our, our top lines aren't playing well. Uh, Steve Buckley, Boston Herald. Matt, you guys are one victory away from getting back to the Frozen Four. Take us back to last year, skating off the ice after that loss to BU in the hockey semifinals, I think it was. Uh, what was the mindset of the team then? What did you guys feel needed to be done to get back to this point? Were you optimistic that the team could do so? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think I mentioned before, you know, this program we always expect to be in the national tournament. We ex expect to, to do well, and we, we set our goals high uh, on purpose. And I think immediately after that game, I think every guy in that locker room who was coming back next year and even the, the freshmen coming in found that out real quick that, that that's where our goals are and I think that's where those expectations were and um, immediately, you know, throughout the summer working with our strength coach, Russ Rosa, you know, guys were focused. You could see everyone was a little bit hungry or everyone wanted to be back here. Um, and I think throughout the entire year, guys have, you know, 
one game at a time, but building towards uh, getting to this tournament. And you know, we're one game down, and you take it one game at a time, like we've been doing all year. But I think uh, definitely that uh, that hunger has been there. Matt Ken Paltak, Associated Press. Uh, have you ever been involved in a game that you had an automatic goal, not you personally or anybody? And what was going through your head after you got hauled down? Um, no, that's definitely a first. Um, I don't know what's going on. First, I was wondering if my arm was still on there. I got a pretty good, uh, <laughs> pretty good hook. But uh, I just looked up the ref, and he said penalty shot right away. And at first, I was kind of thinking, is he going to make me take this penalty shot? Because he didn't seem to give me any sense that it was an automatic goal. So it took a little while until uh, I made the signal to the, to the middle that it was an automatic goal. But there was definitely a lot of things going through my mind there. Pat, uh, Nathan White from College Hockey 24-7. Just wanted to ask, was that play with Albert, was that a, a pass or a shot that, that uh, you deflected? And just for all the guys, uh, was there any s sense of disappointment that you guys had a couple chances to maybe put them away early, to jump out to a 2 3 nothing lead, or was it more just finding yourself in a battle with these guys? Um, I'm not sure whether that was a, a pass or a shot. Um, if I go talk to Patch, I'm sure he'll say it was a pass. Um, <laughs> but regardless of what it was, it, it was a great play. Um, and, you know, as a team, we, we didn't get frustrated or down. Um, you know, it was a tough goal to give up um, a little bit late. We had fought off a lot of penalties, and we were pretty close to fighting off that last one. Um, you know, but there was no, never a sense of, of, of defeat on our bench, and, and I feel that we came in the, in the locker room during the second period and, um, you know, kind of regrouped and, and said, you know, this game is, you know, it's, it's in our control. And, um, and we just had to go out and play pretty well, and there, there was never a sense of um, discouragement or, or anything like that. Matt, Scott McLaughlin, Nesson.com. Uh, obviously, John Muse made a lot of big saves, especially down the stretch when you had the one goal lead. Can you just talk about his play? Yeah, I think he's been playing phenomenal lately, and you need that um, sometimes. You know, we're playing the best teams in the country right now, and they're going to make some great plays, and you're going to need your, your goalie to backstop you. He's made some unbelievable saves, and, and you, can, you can sense that on the bench sometimes. A, a huge save can pick up your bench real quick and turn that momentum the other way. So I think he's, uh, he's definitely been doing that a lot as of late. Um, and tonight was, was no different, and it, it's a huge part of our team, and he's been playing phenomenal. Uh, Tim Rosenthal, Inside Hockey. Uh, man, uh, you're a, a fell friend there in line mate, Matt Lombardi. I got you guys started with the shorthanded goal. Um, how important was that goal, and can you just talk about the penalty kill unit in general today? Yeah, it's a huge, huge goal. You know, you want to get on the board first, and uh, Matty's been playing great. Um, it was a great effort, uh, you know, great speed by him, great strength, cut into the middle there and made a nice little play through the five hole. Um, but I, I think as a whole, the penalty kill did a pretty good job today. You know, we, we let that one get in, uh, I think, um, late, like Patty referred to earlier. Um, but I think we did a pretty good job, uh, had some pretty good pressure on them up ice. Um, you know, we made them make plays, which is what we want to do. We don't want to give them too much uh, time and space and, you know, that one, uh, one goal, they did a nice job, found it back door. Um, but I think we got to keep that up, keep working hard, and try and outwork them out there. Any other questions for the student athletes? Okay, guys, thank you very much. Great game. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Thank you. Questions now for uh, head.